Okay, everybody. Welcome back. Another video here for you. I am Coach Rob from Tailwind Coaching, and uh, we're going to talk about muscular endurance training on Zwift, on the mobile uh, video game type platform that uh, pretty much allows you to ride in a real time environment. Uh, first off, I'm going to give you a little bit of info on what I'm set up with here and how I'm doing it. I am uh, running Swift on my laptop, um, <clears throat> and I'm actually using my Stages power meter as a power and cadence sensor. The trainer, which I'm using, is actually an Elite Drivo. ANT, I think it's called an FEC style trainer. And uh, that particular trainer is being controlled by Zwift. So any gradients that I encounter are going to be reflected in the trainer's resistance. So that's, that's a good thing. Now, you're gonna hear a little bit of background noise in here. And uh, that's actually from the trainer setup itself. The trainer is pretty quiet, but it's still relatively loud. Uh, and especially when it squeaks a little bit, so keep that in mind. But muscular endurance training. What is muscular endurance training? Muscular endurance training is very simply your body's ability to resist fatigue. All right. As your muscles contract to produce power, they will eventually get tired. Each one of those muscle fibers has to contract and relax in order to produce power throughout the pedal stroke. Now, what is muscular endurance training? Well, muscular endurance training is basically a way for you to train your body to become more fatigue resistant. By becoming more fatigue resistant, you'll have more energy left over to be able to make those big moves at the end of a race, at the end of a ride, to be able to attack your buddies or cover the attacks they're making. So how do you train that? Well, if resisting fatigue is your goal, then you're going to be trying to fatigue your body. In this case, Swift, especially combined with one of these smart trainer setups is a great way to do this. So, as you can see, I'm on the Zwift Watopia uh, course, and I am basically doing muscular endurance intervals. Oh, that's a steep, steep grade. So, what exactly makes up a muscular endurance type interval? Well, again, I noted the point of the workout is going to be to fatigue you, make your body resistant to fatigue. How do you do that? Fatigue it. Muscular endurance really is the ability to resist fatigue under tension. So, by putting your body under tension for a prolonged amount of time, you're going to increase your body's fatigue resistance under tension. We're gonna achieve that 
by doing intervals anywhere from 10 to 40 minutes in length. And we're gonna do them at lower cadences. If you're watching my cadence in the upper right hand, I'm sorry, upper left hand side of the screen, you're seeing that that cadence is averaging somewhere in the low 70s. That's not about how I'm riding, that's by design. The lower the cadence, the longer those muscles are forced to contract to create force against the pedals. The longer they're forced to contract and create force, the more fatigue they're gonna get. The more you ride with those fatigued muscles, the more resistant they will be to further fatigue. Follow me? So, why is Zwift, particularly with one of these smart trainer setups, so effective at building this muscular endurance? It's because you have a variety of gradients. It's very similar to your real world riding. Oh, this is gonna be steep. If you were to go outside and try to ride at a relatively constant power over undulating terrain, you'd find it very difficult to do. You'd be in and out of the saddle, up and down on the bike, cadence changing up and down here and there. It's no different than if you're training on Zwift. particularly the Watopia course with its undulating hills and great big mountain climb. You've got a lot of capability for doing a variety of muscular endurance type intervals. I happen to like doing them on a long climb, a mountain climb. Um, I'm doing it on the back the mountain climb. It's the really steep side. So definitely going to get your muscular endurance in there. But you can do same intervals pretty much anywhere of course. Just have to focus on keeping that cadence reasonable and watching power numbers. Now you'll notice that my cadence has certainly fluctuated a little bit. So my power numbers with the terrain, it's okay. Because it mimics the way your body works outdoors. And that's really the key here. Mimicking outdoor conditions, mimicking event conditions during your training. What do you do for intensity on these? You can do anything from sweet spot intensity to tempo intensity to functional threshold intensity. Any of the above. It all depends on what your goal of the workout is. You can even you're feeling daring, do over-under style intervals with these. To do those, you're simply going to take your set amount of time. You're going to do over for a minute, under for a minute. For example, if you're doing one by ones, and you're going to do the intensities as you described. So traditional over under about 110 percent of threshold for over 90 percent for under 
multiple ways you can get to that cadence based, <coughs> gearing based, whatever you like. So, a little bit of info for you on muscular endurance work on Zwift. Of course, you can look for some more information on muscular endurance work at tailwind-coaching.com or you can leave me a comment or find me on the Tailwind Coaching Facebook page or Twitter, Instagram, or Strava. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, check out tailwind-coaching.com for some more information. Keep the shiny side up. Keep the rubber side down. And I'll be talking to you all again really, really soon.